Has the recording started? Good morning, ma'am. So good morning. Good morning, Vita. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yes. Good morning to all of you. All of you. Thank you, Vita. So, rearing of silk worms that we had done a bit earlier. Now we have to do it in detail. A sort of a revision, you can say so. So we are revising the the same matter in a different slide. Let's see. Start with rearing of silk worms. The female silk moth lays eggs. Eggs are stored over a clean cloth or paper stripes. The eggs are warmed Just a to moment. a suit. Who is reading? Rabia. Yes. The eggs are mean? warmed. Just, just, just a moment. Bitte. How yes, did you pronounce this? How did you pronounce this? Cloth. It is cloth. Say with me. Cloth. Cloth. Now. How do you pronounce? Clothes. Now you got the difference. Yes. This is singular. What is this? Children, I am telling to all of you. Yes, I am telling all of you. Ma'am, your voice Girls. is cutting. Okay, just a moment. Now, yes, ma'am. Now is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Okay. Yes, so ma'am. It's, it's okay. Thank, you. thank you, brother. Thank you for reminding me. Ah, uh, see, this is singular, and this is plural. Am I right? So yes. you learn something. The pronunciation part. This is cloth. Singular is cloth. <laughs> And plural is clothes. Now you got the difference between the cloth and clothes. Yes, yes. Rabia. Did you learn something today, Vita? Yes. Yes, all of you. Thank you. Eggs are stored over a clean cloth or paper strips. The eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature. The eggs hatch into. Ma'am, how is it pronounced? <laughs> now you will. <laughs> it's larvae. Larvae. It's plural. Larvae. Now Ma if I remove this. Right. Still, no, it is cutting, okay. bitter. No, ma'am. Uh, just a moment. Who is saying that my voice is cutting? It's cracking. Actually, it's not cutting. It's cracking. I'm going uh, Just uh, do me a favor. Leave the meat and again rejoin. Can you do that? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Do that and tell me whether it is, whether you find the same problem or not. Just do it. I will wait for you. Do it better. Let's wait for her, better, Rabia. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, Rabia, I've removed e. Now, how will you pronounce lava? You got the difference. Now you see how yes. you understood. Larva, larvae. Larva is singular. Larvae is plural. The way you pronounce, I don't have to ask you whether they are one or many. It is understood. Yes. Yes. Uh, be a bit particular. You will be a. You will improve a lot. Okay. You have to be just bit a, be a bit particular. Nothing else. Yes, better. Have you come back? Hello. Yes, ma'am. No. Ha has she come back? The one yes. whom I had asked. Uh, ask her whether she is finding any problem now. What happened, ma'am? Yes. Why is it cracking? Why is it cutting, ma'am? But with whom I am asking you? How many of you are finding this problem? Is only one or two, or so all of you are finding the same problem? Only one. That is what I am asking only her. Only one. So do me a favor. Uh, you have to leave it. You have to leave it. I leave the meat and again rejoin. There's something with the Wi-Fi or your data better. Just check it. Yes, ma'am. She left and she joined. Okay. Now is it okay? अभी क्या बोलो मुझे कुछ समझ में नहीं आया. आ मैंने आपको बोला है कि आप Google Meet को छोड़ दीजिए. आप leave कीजिए Google Meet को और फिर से rejoin कीजिए. अब समझ रहे हैं मैं क्या कह रही हूँ? आप लेफ्ट हो जाइए एंड अगेन आप ज्वाइन कीजिए 
ओके मैम आप ये करो इज इट ओके नाउ अब ठीक है बेटा मैम शी लेफ्ट ओके लेट मी नो वेन शी ज्वाइंस she is finding problem because uh, if it's cracking she won't understand whatever i am saying it's useless no beta yes ma'am has she joined no ma'am Okay, seven standard. Do you find any problem regarding my throw? The way I'm no. uh, teaching you, no, the way I'm uh, using no. the language, and because I don't know you better, so that's the reason I'm asking you. If you feel that somewhere you are not able to follow me the way you wish me to be, let me know. Okay, I will change according to. because six standard and seven standard teachers are different ways are different you are the same <laughs> so it becomes quite difficult for you to adjust to uh, new you know new ways of teaching methods so that's the reason why i asked you has she joined no no ma'am she didn't join yet okay Okay, I continue then. As it is, she can get it through uh, yes, a good video. But yes. when she comes, just let me. Know. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. When she comes, just inform me so that I can okay, ask her whether it's okay or not. Yes, continue. Yes, ma'am. The eggs hatch into larvae called caterpillars or silkworms. the silkworms are kept in bamboo trees and feeds on mulberry leaves and grows in size after 30 to 40 days the silkworms stop eating and begins to spin cocoons cocoons get hardened because of exposure to air inside the cocoon the silkworm develops into silk moth now you saw the life cycle of the silkworm to silk moth all of you understood so this is the yes slide which is showing from the babies that's from the eggs how the babies come out how they hatch what they do how they metamorphose morphosize how they change their body how the cocoon is spun and what happens inside the cocoon and how the silk moth comes out of the cocoon did you understand did you understand better yes the very first thing is that the we have to have a female silk moth right so what she does eggs so it lays eggs right beta so after laying eggs what the farmers do they collect all these eggs and they store it in a clean cloth or paper strips look no, cut paper strips are like this right beta so they yes. are collect all these eggs on the papers either on the A clean cloth or paper strips. Why it has to be clean, beta? That there should not be any infection. You understand? There should not be any infection. If there is infection, eggs will die. Eggs will not hatch. Remember that. Okay. Then these eggs are stored on these clean cloth or paper strips. You always know the hen. It incubates the eggs. Hen sits on eggs. Have you observed hen? Sitting on an egg. Yes. Do you ever observe? Yes. What it is doing? It is giving temperature. The body of the hen is giving temperature to the egg, so that the eggs will hatch. If it does not give the temperature, the eggs will not hatch. The babies will not be produced. So, certain temperature is given to the eggs to hatch. For what? To hatch. Is this understandable? Yes, yes. all of you, even you can see snakes snakes keeping the eggs yes beta 
Then what is hatch? Hatch is when the small babies come out of the eggs. That is called hatch. Okay. When the babies come out of the eggs, it's called as hatching. You understand, beta? And this okay. period of giving suitable temperature is called as incubation. What it is called as? Incubation. Incubation. Okay, so it is incubating so that the eggs will hatch. Okay. After hatching, what we get? Many babies. So it is larvae. How many babies we get? Many babies. We get many. larvae, which is again called as caterpillars Caterpillar. and again called as silkworms. So you got so many names of the babies. What are the names? What are the names with the larvae? Larvae, caterpillar, caterpillar silkworms. silkworms. So don't be confused. If I say silkworms, it's the same as larvae, same as caterpillars. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now what happens? These babies or the silkworms, where are they kept? On bamboo trees. Where are they kept? Bamboo. Because bamboo trees are very light. They cannot take heavy objects. So instead they have taken the bamboo trees, very light objects. And they keep mulberry leaves in these trees so that caterpillars start consuming it very voraciously. So what do you mean voraciously? They eat like nobody's business. They keep on eating. Day and night they just keep on eating. They don't stop. Okay? And they become huge, they grow in size, the caterpillars become very big. After eating so much, say, they eat for a month or one and a half month, they stop eating. The worms or the caterpillars stop eating. So they keep on eating for one and a one and a half month. And suddenly they stop eating. Do you understand? Now, when they stop yes. eating, what they do? What they do? They start spinning the cocoon. What they do with her? They start spinning the cocoon. Is this much understandable? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Oh. Ma'am. Yes, with Ma'am, in, ma in bamboo trees, mulberry leaves are kept. Yes, better. I will be showing you the picture. Don't worry. The mulberry leaves are kept. So what, if I'm a farmer, if I'm a farmer, what I will do? I will take a, a bamboo tree because I can hold it. It's very light. And put the caterpillars in the bamboo tree. Yes, better. And even the mulberry okay. leaves. Big wood. Mulberry leaves are not small. They're big leaves. And I put mulberry leaves over there. So they keep on eating. Keep on putting. That is the food. After one and a half months, they stop eating. That means they have to start spinning the cocoon. Now what is cocoon? Cocoon is the saliva. Cocoon is the saliva which is spun from the mouth of the caterpillar. So when it is the saliva which is coming out of the mouth of the larvae, when obviously it is coming in contact with the air, it becomes hard. So when it is exposed to air, it becomes hard. And see, the silkworm is inside the cocoon. Remember that. Silkworm is spinning around itself. It is inside the cocoon. And this cocoon, yes, is the silk. This cocoon is the silk. And inside the cocoon, this caterpillar is changing its body to a, to a bit of silk moth. Exactly. So what is this process called as? What have I written, Vita? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Metam is huge. Morphosis is the morphology. That means the physical feature of the caterpillar looks so ugly. Isn't it? So let's look at worm. And worm has become a, a, an insect. So it is a great change of the body. A huge change of a body. So matter is huge and morphology is changing the physical feature. 
So that is called as this phenomena is called as metamorphosis. Is it understandable to all of you, Bitta? Yes. All of you? Yes. Do you want to ask me any question, Bitta? Yes, ma'am. Very important. This is regarding the life cycle of the silk moth. If you have understood, then you can understand drawing the because I want you to draw the picture also. Okay. Yes, Bitta. Has she joined? Uh, the girl who was finding my voice a problem. No, ma'am. She no. hasn't yet joined. No. No. And then you, can you keep a message for her? Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Yes, if someone wanted to ask me. Yes, yes I'm as I'm Rabia. I'm asking that uh, butterflies are also uh, same, same metamorphosis, but they don't spin like cocoon. Cocoon is silk. They also go in the pupa stage. This cocoon is actually pupa stage, beta. They do the same. Pupa. It is also called a pupa. I will be showing you in the picture. Butterflies also do the same. They also undergo metamorphosis. Okay, so caterpillars, uh, butterflies are also developed from caterpillars. Yes. Most of the insects they develop like this. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Ma'am, can I read? Let me explain, then I will ask you, Peter. Okay. Is the same thing that you have seen? Yes, Vita. So these are. Do you see this? These are cocoon. Yes. Pale yellow in yes. color. Yes, almost yellow in color. These are all cocoon. Do you see this? These are all cocoon. And this is how it looks like. See. And inside this, inside this, inside the cocoon, we have got the. What silkworm? Man, what silkworm is will this? change into this is cocoon, beta. This is from here we get the silk, the silk. Then it is woven into silk cloth. Just now I told you, no, it's cocoon. Okay. And the caterpillar or the worm is inside the cocoon. Yes, processing of silk. Now, after we get the cocoon, what we do? Yes, who wanted to read just now? I know. Okay. Ma'am, can I mod this? Ma'am, I know. Okay, better I know. <laughs> after I know more this, okay, better. Don't, don't, don't get so angry. Don't get so panicky. All of you will have chance. Processing of silk. The cocoons are collected and kept in sunlight. Or boiled, or exports to stream. The silk fibers separate out. The process of taking out the fibers from the cocoons is called breeding. The fibers. No. Breeding. No. Breeding is done by. Breeding is done by machine. The silk fibers are then are then chopped. I can hear you properly, better. Yes, the silk fibers. The silk fibers are then spun. 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 spun into threads and woven into silk cloth. Thank you, Vita. You still have to keep on practicing, Aina. Okay. Hmm? Now, what we do is the next step, Vita. These cocoons we saw, we will start collecting these cocoons. What do we do? We have to kill the worms. Remember that. We have to kill the worms. How can you work with the worms? So, we have to kill the worms. How do we kill it? First, either you keep it in sunlight or boil or give steam. Have you understood? Yes. 
because if we keep the silk worms inside the cocoon it may come out it may come out and will make a hole in the cocoon now if it makes a hole in the cocoon all the silk fibers will break and we cannot weave the cloth it will be loss and the silk will lose its quality have you understood so before it comes out of the cocoon if it is alive surely it will come out of the cocoon and we don't want that so what we do instead we kill them have you understood this much yes ma'am how many how many cocoons are used and how many worms are killed can you imagine in human process isn't it better so there is no other go to get silk you have to kill the caterpillars now when we expose it when we give it steam or you put in sunlight or either you boil it the worms are killed and we can take the silk fibers so we take the silk fibers is this clear yes now taking out the silk fibers from the cocoons fibers from the cocoons what it is called reel what it is called beta you know you can see the reel of threads so this process is called as reel how we do it by machines so reeling is done by machines is this this much is clear Yes, ma'am. Hello. After reeling, you have to spin it into threads, and then after you get the threads, then you can weave it into, lastly, cloth. Any problem? No, ma'am. So you saw step by step how the cloth is being made. cocoon you kill the worms right beta then you have to separate the fibers reeling which is done by machine then this threads as sorry the fibers are spun into threads when the threads are made then it is made into cloth any problem no ma'am yes no ma'am Now we will see reeling of silk. Read. What is the? Yes, ma'am. Read better. Yes, ma'am. One minute, oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Silk. the cocoons are collected and kept in sunlight or boiled or exposed to steam the silk fiber separate out the process of taking out the silk thread from the cocoons is called reeling 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 done by machines what we did but that is not we what i did we have already read it over here isn't it yes the same thing has been put into points have you observed that that was done in the para this is done in points there's a difference but it's the same why i showed can you tell me why did i show the same content in a different manner can anyone tell me the matter is same can anyone tell me why did i show two slides on the same matter hello hello ma'am that we can revise it okay and can present it in a different manner both you can revise it no doubt about it but the presentation is different so even you have to learn that you can write the same thing in a different manner yes yes ma'am So now reading of silk is over. See, let's do one by one. Can you see over here? Steam has been given. Can you see this? 
yes and here boiling water can you see this beta right then you get this fiber the beaver weaving making the silk cloth weaving with the help of machine and you got the silk sarees yes yes ma'am hello now next step is tying spinning and weaving read ma'am can i yeah give your name vikram tying spinning and weaving yeah. tying the silk fiber are then dyed in different colors spinning and weaving yeah. the silk fiber are then spun into threads and woven in different types of silk cloth i e fiber that is Hello. Yes, ma'am. This is that is. This one is that is. Okay. I dot e dot no. You have to say that is. What is the meaning of dyeing, Peter? What is the meaning of dyeing? We are coloring it. What are we doing? Coloring it. So silk fibers are colored in different, according to our requirement. After that, we spin. we make it into threads what are we doing beta we are spinning into threads later it goes to weavers who make the clothes so it's woven into different types of silk cloth any problem so we get the sarees we get the dress materials who does that weavers any problem no 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 these are the weavers can you see this they are weavers they are making clothes out of it so weavers what are they making beta they are making clothes out of it is it clear hello yes, yes ma'am and you get this yes ma'am yes ma'am Can get these colored clothes. This is done. Okay. Oh, let's see. Use. Ma'am, can I read the answer, Fatima? Okay, beta. Uses of silk. Silk is a costly fabric. Silk. Costly. Costly. Costly fab fabric. Costly. Open your mouth. Costly. It's not co, but it is co. Costly. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Silk fiber is used for weaving cloth, especially cloth, cloth especially traditional dresses in India, like sari, kurta, shawl, and other wedding clothes. 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 Say it again. Yes. Now you got the difference. cloth and clothes i think i told you already when i was uh, pointing out at rabia that was meant for the whole class beta if i see if i keep on repeating the same thing again and again and we are not learning it once i tell anyone that is meant for the whole class am i clear yes ma'am do i have to repeat it again this uh, clothes word uh, yeah i have already uh, talked it out I've already pointed out to uh, Rabia. 
in the beginning of the session. So whenever I'm telling anyone, please see to it that it is meant for you as well. So the same thing should not be repeated. Okay? Okay? That means you are not yeah. paying attention, but you are not paying attention. That shows. So whenever I'm pointing out to, to anyone, X, Y, Z, it is meant for the whole class. So silk is very costly. We have already come to know that, that these were these clothes were worn by only kings and rich people. Am I right? Am I right, Peter? Now this silk fiber is used for making cloth. So weaving, weavers they weave cloth out of silk fibers. Generally, we go for silk saris that are traditional dresses. What is the meaning of traditional dresses? For example, Gujarat, the Gujaratis wear the traditional dress. Okay? And we have got some special type of saris. So generally for traditional wear, we use silk, kurta, shawls of silk and other wedding clothes. Generally wedding clothes, uh, when people wear, that is made up of silk, expensive. Yes, continue. Ikra. Sorry, Insia. Not Ikra. Insia Fatima. Please continue. Yes, ma'am. Silk had always been prized for its ma'am, what is this? Luster. Luster and fine quality. The spelling is wrong. N U S T R E. What is written? L U S T R E. Luster. That is the right spelling. Okay, better. Yes. Continue. And fine quality. The countries which produ produced silk on a large scale are China, First Bank, and India. Thank you. No, I have a very letter. What happened? Please, Yada Saruri. Or Mary Lee, please, Yada Saruri. Please, मुझे थोड़ी देर के लिए शांति से बैठने देंगे। कब से देख रही फोन पे फोन पे फोन पे फोन कर